This scene is becoming more and more prevalent in the downtown area of Grand Rapids. A band of bikes taking over the streets and even sidewalks pulling off tricks. It's becoming more and more dangerous. News 8's Heather Walker is learning there are efforts to stop it, but Heather, so far, no good, right? Yeah, we just actually saw some of them go by. It's a tough issue to tackle because once you call police, by the time they arrive, the bikes are gone. Eventually, somebody's going to get hurt or killed, and it's only a matter of time. News 8 found these videos online posted by the bike groups, showing them taking over multiple lanes of traffic, doing wheelies and other tricks. I'm watching them stand on a seat, going like this down, down the road, and I'm scared that they're going to crash and, and kill themselves, you know. And as a driver, I don't want to be the person behind them, you know, to potentially run them over if they do crash. These organized rides are advertised on Facebook just before they take off to avoid cops catching up. The bikes stick mostly to the downtown and west side of Grand Rapids, sometimes stopping in the streets for burnouts or driving on the sidewalks, inches from pedestrians. For quality life purposes, this is really a major issue. Um, for neighbors, um, and it's not going to go away. City stakeholders are working to find solutions. A meeting took place with GRPD today. Police saying videos like these help, but many of the riders are wearing helmets that hide their identity. So figuring out who is driving is difficult unless you can catch up to them. It really upsets me because you've got a lot of motorcycle riders that are getting hurt for doing the right thing. They all need to learn how to share the road and the sidewalks and, and follow the law so we don't have those instances where someone does get hurt or killed because, because someone didn't. And I think that's the main reason, or the main, uh, the main concern here, I should say. We did reach out to some of those bike groups online. They either declined to comment or did not get back to us. Reporting live on Grand Rapids West Side, Heather Walker, News 8.